Yeah, absolutely. So what we did is create a solution that encompasses the hardware side uh, using different type of wireless technologies. Uh, uh, we use six different wireless technologies in order to connect people on different sides of the world uh, for their banking needs. So we, we work in collaboration with other small businesses like ours, also large, uh, and that's what we're something that we're trying to do, uh, and make it easy and reliable to have a connection from the field anywhere in the world. It doesn't, and you don't have to have electricity or any type of technological or, or telecom uh, connectivity. We take care of all of that in a very efficient and an affordable way, which is the most important for the underbank to make able those transactions to be affordable uh, and happen where they have to happen in the middle of nowhere in the world. Yeah, we are right now we're looking at uh, expanding, of course, like any other business. Uh, we are a small business, we are a startup. So we have already a few good customers that have put their faith on us and we want to get more of those so we can get, you know, the word out and our solution is uh, demonstrated that it works efficiently as we say it does. And what we want is precisely that to be showcased and have a spotlight like ITU has done on us. And, but now with, with the side of the operations itself and you know, we'll do, we'll have the actions reflect what we're saying. And that's what we want to do, grow and demonstrate that we are a feasible uh, solution for anywhere in the world. And that's, that's a big, big goal for a very small company like ours in, in, in the world setup. Small companies like ours uh, always have the issue of very limited resources. So when it comes to economic and the power of the people and everything, we have to rely on our small group. Uh, but that also makes us very nimble enough in order to, you know, uh, navigate the different waters of the world, especially nowadays with the coronavirus that has made logistics uh, very difficult. And for a company like ours that is technologically focused, the logistical side of it in, in the semiconductors uh, is very, it's, it's, it's a very bad outlook. So some of the lead components that we have have times of delivery of over a year. And for a small company like ours, we cannot survive. But again, because we're nimble enough, we can make changes on the go without hurting our end goals. And that's what we're trying to do. That's one of the biggest issues that we have but it's always growth and it's always getting to that point of self-sufficiency and and you know and we can't we can't do that alone we need all the help that we can and ITU helps us a lot in that regard as well with shining a, a light on us yes well it it is absolutely a blast having having been nominated first of all but winning the award was just something that it was almost unexpected. Uh, so it it definitely shines a bright light on us and, and puts peer pressure from a telecommunications organization such as ITU, a very large one, the most important one worldwide, and a small company like ours, which is which we want to go into the world stage. So we are now motiv motivated to actually deliver what we say we can do and we know we can do that uh, so that is something that we love it's what we call a happy problem so having all that reflection on us and making us you know be better and be able to solve together with very large organizations the problems of the world and at the same time create more value uh, not only for the company but we also see it as part of being part of, of, of the humans, of, of, of humanity. So we want to make it better for everybody. And there are a lot of opportunities out there um, and we can't do that alone. So we always need to help and all those reflectors shining on us will help us achieve that. And, and we, we, we really thank the ITU for doing that.